Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to more Five Nights at Freddy's. And, uh, you see, I just tried a new strategy for this game. Uh, 2020, 2020 mode. And I just used it for my first try last time. And last time, like, this is my first try ever using this strategy. I made it to 5 a.m. with 14% left. And the only reason that I died was because I accidentally deviated from the strategy. So, I'm gonna try it again. That video will probably be scrapped, because it was pretty much 10 minutes of silence. So, let's begin. Pretty sure it's taking its time. Oh my god, that was complete luck that I wasn't dying, that I didn't die there. That is not at all part of the strategy.
is my second time trying this strategy. <laughs> oh my god. I almost did it without running out of power, too. <laughs> that is ridiculously easy. Oh my god. Somebody, anybody who's trying to snipe, this is the strategy. Oh my god. Of course, I'll tell you exactly. Oh, three stars. That is easy, baby. Oh, no, and I didn't. That's right. Alright, I'll explain the strategy real quick. But, wow, that was so- That was literally my second attempt at that one freaking strategy. Hang on, I'm just going to- Oh my god, I can't believe that. That is freaking hilarious. Oh my god. Okay. Now that I'm done laughing. Alright, let me tell you what I did. Let me just turn everyone off first. Except for Freddy, because, well, I have a reason for that. Oh, and P.S. If you set Froxy and uh, Chica and Bonnie to zero, and Freddy to 20, you won't get any Freddy activity until around 4 or 5 a.m., because he can't move until these two leave, which on zero AI is very late in the night. Alright, so what I looked like I was doing was completely random, but I do have a good reason for it. Okay, so, here's what I did. I set the camera to 4B, and then I checked until Freddy would appear. However, Freddy was taking longer than he usually would. So when I checked for Bonnie at the beginning of the night, that was complete luck that he actually ended up being there. I probably would have died that time if it wasn't for that. But most of the time, it'll be fine until Freddy arrives, because he usually doesn't take that long. Now, when Freddy gets here, just do this four times, then check for body. Then, go ahead and do it four times, and check for body. Repeat until Bonnie is there. Close the door, check twice, then check, and then if he's still there, do it again, and so on. When he leaves, open the door, and then this time, do 12 instead of 4. Then, after you do 12, check for Bonnie again. And repeat this, and then after you do uh, 12 for the first time, then you check for Bonnie, and then you do it 4 times, check for Bonnie, and 4 times, check for Bonnie, so on and so on. And again, when he comes, check the door, 1, 2, still there, 1, Still there, one, and so on till he's gone. Then do twelve. Then after the twelve, just do four, and then just do that for the whole night. Now, at any point Chica appears here, does don't change your pattern. Just keep doing that. But if Chica suddenly disappears, check the right door. Now, the reason for that is because you see Bonnie teleports throughout the entire area. He can like Bonnie's path is he starts off here, then goes here, here, uh, not here. Then he goes here. Then, I mean, then he goes here, uh, no, my bad, let me start over, he starts here, goes here, well, let me show you what his attack route is, he always starts here, then this is his attack route, camera 1B, 5, then 2A, then 3, and 2B. He can teleport along any of these whenever he wants to, so he can start off at 1A and go to 2B, he can start off at 1A and go to 5, or maybe he can go to 2A or 3, he can go to 1A, 1B, 5, 3, 2A, 2B, and here. However, he will do it in any random order. He can teleport all throughout the place. Which is why that whole 4 is for Bonnie and not for Chica. So, he just, he can teleport anywhere along this route. As for Chica though, she moves along, she can only move one room at a time. So 1A, 1B, 7, uh, I believe 6, 4A, and 4B. And she can so the, she can't go into any of the other rooms, just those. However, unlike Bonnie, who can go wherever he wants, uh, Chica has to move one room at a time. And since Chica always stays at 4B before entering through the door, you can if you see her here, that means that the next time she moves, she'll either go to 4A or to you. So if she's in 4B, and she disappears, that means that she could be there. So that's what you do if you spot Chica. So if you spot Chica while you're doing this, get, and then just keep doing it until Chica leaves, turn on the lights, and then keep going. And of course, if she's there, stop. Then do uh, two times, check, 
she's still there two one more time check one more time check until she's gone then you open the door now you just have to keep that up for the whole night and you'll be freaking golden like it's so easy now the reason freddy doesn't attack you is freddy hang on. so freddy uh he has unlike the other two he actually has a set route that he will always take freddy when the other two leave will go from 1a to 1b to 7 to 6 to 4 a and then he goes to 4b now when he laughs that means he moves however he doesn't always laugh when he moves so be on the lookout for that so when he's in 1a obviously he'll be here but when he's in 1b although you might not be able to see him he'll have two glowing you can see his glowing eyes right over here then when he's in 7 his glowing eyes will be right here in the girls bathroom for whatever reason when he's at 6 you can't see him but you can hear the music coming very loud from this up camera and even when the cameras are down, you can still hear him. So then he'll move on to 4A, and his eyes will be right here next to these stars. Then he'll move on to 4B, and he'll be looking right into the camera. If the door is closed, hang on, there's one thing I need to explain though. So let's say, Freddy, if the door is open, and then he'll eventually proceed into your office, and after a few seconds, he will kill you. Nothing to prevent it. Even just standing around, he'll eventually get you. Let's say the door is closed, then, instead of just going to you, he'll switch between 4A and 4B non-stop until eventually you mess up and let him in. And that's the way that Freddy works. However, Freddy can be delayed. So let's say you're constantly checking on him like this. Freddy will never move. My strategy for night 6 is just doing this all night. Well, actually, no. What I do is I do this, then switch, then check then switch and check and switch and this way I'm always keeping one eye on Freddy and one eye on Foxy so Foxy doesn't leave and Freddy doesn't leave because Freddy can't move if you're watching him but of course you there you are so like I was saying if you take long enough without checking Freddy he'll eventually move here then here 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 However, since Freddy can't move, if you're frequently checking him, what you can just do is this all night, and Freddy will never move from that room. So you see, Freddy will go into you, your room, if he's checking any other, if you're checking any other camera except for his. You start checking his, and uh, you start checking his, and then he'll stop moving. Check any other, and you're dead. So you never have to close the right door unless Chica is there. And that's that's the plan, basically. And the reason that Foxy doesn't attack is because, you see, you don't necessarily have to check on Pirate's Cove. Yes, the phone guy says check on Pirate's Cove, but that's not exactly true. I don't know why he said that. Hang on. Probably just for story purposes or something. I don't care. Come on. So, for Foxy, you just have to check on any camera doesn't matter which one you're checking so 4b for instance just check 4b all night and you will be safe from foxy and uh let's see so if i can just do this all night dad will actually keep foxy away but there's one catch let's say i do this super fast and you don't even get a chance to see the room at all before the camera goes back down. Although many people think that's the case, it actually does not keep Foxy away. Both Foxy and Freddy. So doing this, like the super spamming camera, that doesn't count as checking it. So that'll let Freddy in, and that'll let Foxy in. So you have to wait a second so you can at least see the room. What I do is I don't pull it down until I can know that I'm seeing Freddy's eyes. However, if I know that, if I, so what I do, is I stay for this song. Anything shorter and that would trigger both Foxy and Freddy, anything longer and that would put me in danger of Bonnie or Chica death. So that's really all you do, just this. Make sure you can see Cam 4B in Freddy's eyes until Freddy gets here, then do 4, then check, 4, check, 4, check, 4, check, until he's there but if you and then you close the door 
do two, check, one, check, one, check, until he's gone, open the door, repeat, but this time do 12, and then continue doing 12, uh, I mean, just do 12 one time, only do it 12 one time, check, and then go back to four, check, four, check, and so on. And if Chica is ever here, then just close, then just check here when she leaves, and uh, basically hope for the best that she actually is gone. Well, obviously do a two, then check, one, check, you get it by this point. So, I can't believe how easy that was. That was my second attempt at this night using that strategy. I tried maybe 20 or so times with the other strategy, and my record was like, uh, like I tried, my record was I think I made it to like 530 or something once. Yeah, so, uh, and then Freddy killed me because he did, I would have lived, but he did the super short coming here, the super short song, and the shortest possible time before he actually killed me, which was like two seconds. But I would have lived if it was longer than that, though. But this strategy, you saw what happened, right? It was like, dark and before Freddy could even come here like two seconds and I was already done with this game or good actually I'm still have to record for the actual let's play so yeah that's unbelievably easy and the only reason that I didn't from the first time is because I messed up on my strategy you'll see when I upload that as a fail video later but what I did was thought was I checked twice I mean, did twice check Bonnie's still there Bonnie's gone and this time I do 12 like I normally do, yada yada yada. But then I get distracted by Chica, I deal with Chica, Chica's gone. But I thought, but my memory is like, I just got distracted, and I thought that Bonnie had just left, and not Chica. So, was Freddy just ripping his head off? I think he was. So I did it four, 12 times. So I actually did 12 for the second time, plus the time it took me to deal with Chica. In other words, I wasted so much time that I was Bonnie food. That's why you only do it 12 times once, not twice. Otherwise, something like that could happen. And I could have sworn I saw Freddy's head get ripped off. I'll look at it in uh, post-production. So, I guess I still have to record the other night, upload this, upload the fail videos. And yeah, that should be it. That was unbelievably easier than the second game. Anyways, I'm just going to beat this knight real quick. Where are you, little bugger? Should be here. Oh, there you are. I'll be back in a minute. I have to use the bathroom.
alive. I'm making no heat. Huge success. It's hard to overstate my satisfaction. Aperture science. We do what we must because we can. Where the hell is Bonnie? I really don't know. Oh, there he is. You silly little animatronic. Come on. I'm like, why can't they find you on the cameras? I found Chica on her attack group, but, you know. Oh yeah, the lower their AI is, the longer it takes for them to leave. So, you should probably know that. So, if you're playing on 2020-2020 mode, it should take them relatively no time to leave. But, of course, zero, 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 and they stay here for half a freaking year. Points of data make a beautiful line. And we're out of beta, we're releasing on time. The science gets done, you making me and the people who are still alive. I wonder if we can get an actual number on the estimates of like how many people have done this. Cause I know that on video there's probably like 20 or 30 people, but I don't know how many people have done it off camera. Hey guys, look at this kitten. Yes, you did. So this is zero, 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 zero mode. Yes, he does have a fucking mode. Show it to the camera, which is currently turned on. And the people who could hear everything that we're saying. Yes, he is adorable. Alright, so, Kylie, this is zero, 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 zero mode. Zero percent, you genius. Can't you count? Yeah, well, it used to be as not is. You think I'll live? Kyle, that's zero, 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 zero. Yeah! You see, when Fred, when the power goes out, you can still win as long as Fred doesn't kill you. Right. Yep, that's what you get when you hide something. Tampering with the animatronics, general unprofessionalism, odor. Yeah, apparently the guys are awesome. I know, right? See, three stars. So Kyle, you see, this is what I just beat. So, uh, I was using a strategy, right? And on my, like, before, I was trying a different strategy, and I died about 20 times. The furthest I ever made it was at 5.30 a.m., and I would have won, but Freddy did the shortest possible time to come here. He did the shortest possible song, which is like two notes. And then, while the screen was black, he took the sh shortest possible time to kill me. So, all in all, it took maybe five or six, seven seconds, maybe. While the maximum he could do was 50 seconds, so that was just really bad luck. But on my, when I tried this strategy, my second attempt at this strategy, and I win. And the first time, I would have won, but I accidentally uh, deviated from the strategy, even though I shouldn't have. But it was so unbelievably easy. Even you can do it. <laughs> but you're so cute, Kelly. And Lucas. So yeah, you know what happened? Like the power went out, and literally two seconds later, I it says so at six a.m. Yeah, and when I actually actually when I have a.m. That's adorable. Okay. Like for example, for Markiplier, he spent about seven hours trying it, right? And then on his last, then on his victory attempt, right? Uh, first, the screen went black. Freddy did his song, which was average length. So it took Freddy about five seconds to come. He did about a seven second song. And about three seconds into the blackness screen, he won. So that was like, what, 12, 15 seconds, a bit more maybe? Until he reached 6 a.m. And for me, it was like two seconds, not even. So I beat Markiplier by 13 seconds. Actually, I think they're one of the best uh, ones that, that are. Uh, like the strategy I'm using is from a man named Oh Look It's FNAF, who's the guy who he was the first person to actually beat Golden Freddy mode in the second game. The very first person. Yeah. So he was the first person to beat Golden Freddy mode in the second game, 
and I think he also holds like one of the best records for uh, 2020-2020 mod of the first game where he finished it with about 10% power left, which is the same strategy I just used. But it was so unbelievably easy. And we're going to end this night with something a little interesting, Kylie. You know what it is? Look at the numbers I'm making. 19, 80, 7. Remember the bite of 87? Phone guy mentions it on the, I believe, the second or third night. He's talking about something called the bite of 1987, where one of the animatronics bit off someone's entire frontal lobe, which is a big chunk of their brain. And they survived, apparently. But of course, they caused the restaurant to shut down. So people always made these rumors and theories that if you put in 1987 in 2020, in the 7th night, and, uh, like, if you put in 1987, then, uh, you could get a secret ending if you beat it. But that was actually not true. And Scott Cotton, the creator, got so damn tired of people going like, Hey, Scott, if you beat on 1987, is there an alternate ending? That he just made an update. So anyone who puts in 1987 gets a secret message. You wanna try it? Come on, all you have to do is hit the left mouse button. Go ahead, just hit the left mouse button. And it crashed my game. I hate you. <laughs> you hate me? You know Golden Freddy, right? Mm -hmm. Well, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you on the flip side.